be days like this. So I called her and we talked for a while. Hung up the phone. Ain't no half stepping with Marcus J. Ain't no half stepping. We're back. Time for the socially conscious and entertainment hour. So all the silly clowning, we're gonna go ahead and put that aside and kind of move to our more serious entertainment, socially conscious relationship hour as we do every single week. We lead the top of the hour with the missing and or exploited child. This young fella we profiled in the past. We're gonna profile him again. We typically do uh, a new child every single week, but this one, it's little baby, has been missing for uh, about two years. We got Amir D. Rod Jennings. It's a danger missing. His date of birth is June 28, 2010. Uh, he's been missing almost a year, December 5, 2011. He's a black male. He's two feet two, weighs 25 pounds with black hair and brown eyes. He is missing from Columbia, South Carolina. Uh, he was last known to be in the company of an adult female. They may have traveled to North Carolina or Georgia, and foul play is definitely suspected. So please keep your eyes open still for young Amir D. Rod Jennings. If you have seen him, please contact the National Center for Missing and Exploited Children. His photograph will be on each of our personal Facebook pages as well as on the uh, Ain't No Half Stepping with Marcus J. Uh, fan page as well as on Twitter so definitely keep your eyes open for young Amir D. Rod Jennings uh, and any child that we may have profiled uh, and, and, and if you have an opportunity just take a look you know browse your city browse your state in the National Center for Missing and Exploited website which is missingkids.com check it out uh, something of course that's very personal to me uh, and we'll continue to do this as long as we're on the airways here so contact the National Center for Missing and Exploited Children by phone at 1-800-THE-LOST, 1-800-843-5678. Please bring young D, uh, Amir D. Rod Jennings home. All right. Ain't no half stepping with Marcus J. Let's go ahead and transition, get some fun stuff in here. We got the dating pool diva, Arthur Charisma, is on. Turn the mic on, turn the mic, flip switch. There you go. There you go. All right. Go ahead, let me see. You on? I think so. Ah, you you can hear me? Yeah, okay. I got you now. I got you now. Ain't no half stepping, Marcus J. Haven't seen you in a while. How you doing? I'm good. I'm uh, good. How was your uh, holiday? Everything was fabulous. Uh, football and turkey. Yeah. And, you know, just chill. We had a good time. I appreciate you asking. How was yours? It was pretty good. Relaxing. One. Got to hang out with the family and some friends. That's always good. You get yeah. to hang out with your family and your friends and watch a lot of sports and football or not you know whatever makes you happy so glad to see you it's good to see you uh we're gonna be talking about uh some questions and uh, i'll let you kind of go ahead and set it up we got a few questions that we're gonna get into tonight yep for the diva diaries the diva diaries, diva diaries. i just I don't like how that sounds girl <laughs> like i said we got to get us a soundtrack oh, we'll be straight yeah, no doubt we do need to get a song we get big root maybe to sing it yeah i think he can do it perfect yeah. You ain't know. <laughs> <laughs> you better have somebody. Uh, All right. I got a blog, um, an honorary blogger from the Dating Pool blog. One of my friends, Dorothy, wrote Is it possible to be in love with two people at the same time? Wow. So we're going to let's go ahead and have our guest jump in on that one first. Is it possible to be in love with two people at the same time? At the Wow, that's that's ooh, okay. <laughs> All right. Um, I you know what? It's possible, but I don't think it's um, sane. Insane. It's pretty much insane if you ask me. Trying to love two different people with two different personalities, um, and then it's up to that person. I mean, what are you loving between the two? I mean, something is different, and it sounds like you're trying to get one person. You just got two people to make that one. Um, so it, I would say that if you're trying to love two people at the same time, just be careful with that because um, if you don't hurt them, um, they can hurt you. So that's call, how I think. Call them Banks. What's your thoughts on that, man? I love my parents, so why not? Uh, oh that's, that's not that don't count. No, oh, it doesn't. Count. I just thought I asked. No, I mean, it doesn't count. It don't count. Let me clarify. Okay, romantic clarify. relationships. Romantic relationships. Yeah. No menage a trois either. Yeah. I, I love my left and right hand. I like a dog. Wow. I mean, wow. really? I'm just saying. I mean, hey, I can. It's just that. Did it's you just understand that moment the question? Yeah, sure. I did. I love Marion Sue. Last name Palmer. 
Okay. Definitely. Again, this is coming from a man who <laughs> who's wearing the Redskins uh, jersey. So remember that, everybody. Redskins jersey. So he loved the Redskins too, right? Did I say? Did you hear right, me say let's, that? Let's, uh, let me, let me, let me, let me, let me say that. Same let me, time. Let me go. You like you like the Redskins and the Cowboys. You hear me say that? Let me go ahead and set it up again because the eight o'clock hour is our entertainment and socially conscious serious hour, and since that's the way we're gonna roll, that's the way we're gonna roll in this hour. I'd appreciate serious answers. So we're gonna ask you again, Colin Banks. Could you answer the question seriously? Silence. Okay, big rule. What's your thoughts on it, man? I don't think you can actually be in love with two people. Now you can love one and lust on the other, but as far as giving your heart to two people, I don't think that's possible. Now you may just be lusting for two people and not really love either one. But you know, when you when you love somebody, you give up a lot of stuff for them, like everything. So you can't give up everything for two people. That doesn't work. So you either you're probably lusting on the the old, you know, and loving the new. Because if you love the old, you still be with the old. You wouldn't be you wouldn't be with a new person. You know? Amen. So I'm I'm guessing the dating pool diva agrees with that. Why don't you yeah. give us your opinion on it? I agree with that. I think that it's very hard to say in love that means to be impassionate with that person. Like your all is into that person. I mean, a feeling you can't even really describe. And to split it in half between two people just logically doesn't make any sense to me. And neither does it make any sense emotionally. Yeah. But uh, that's just my opinion. No, I agree. I mean, it it, it would be difficult to... Uh, you know, but then you also have people who play the role. You know what I mean? Like you got people oftentimes who uh, are on the treadmill of life, so to speak, and they love. You know, if you can't be with what's the say, phrase? If you can't be with the one, you can't love the one you want. Love the one you with. Right. You know what I'm saying? So you often, oftentimes have people who, you know, just go ahead and chill because they can't get what they want. Now, as far as and I know that's not necessarily the question, but as far as like actually. Being in love, like you know, that whole soulmate thing, I guess, is kind of the essence of the question. I mean, I don't, I don't know how you do that. You know, I mean, you get people who think they do it, and if they can, then good enough for them. I guess it's one of those questions where you have to speak for yourself as an individual because you really can't be in the life of somebody else. You know, there's polygamous, you know, and sister wives, and you know, culturally. We may have issue with that, but the people who live that way, that's how they roll. And if you talk to one of those sister wives and you try to go hard at their culture and you try to say something about one of them sister wives, you might have a fight on your hands. And they in love as a family union. So now I don't understand enough about the culture to really, you know, explain it, but in my opinion, if I'm watching that go down and I'm seeing two and three and four women in love or not necessarily in love, but married to the same dude, I don't understand how you can allow that to happen unless you have some level of unconditional love going on. Well, I understand what you're saying, but the sister wives love one man. Usually there's one head guy. And so that one head guy I think it's hard for him to love 50 wives or 100 wives the same at the same intensity. You know what I'm saying? Like, he may love them, but to be in love with that many people, that that just doesn't make any sense I to guess, me. I guess, you, I guess we would have to define out. For the record, I agree with you. But I'm purposely playing the devil's advocate because I know there are going to be some people who disagree. You know, And I think what we need to do is define what in love means. You know, does in love mean I can't be with anybody but you? I can't live without you. If you're not here it, when we're 80 years old and you die, I'm probably going to die tomorrow. I mean, is that what in love really is, Miss Toyana? You're making the face. Why don't you jump in right there? <laughs> well, I mean, everybody's definition, like you said, is totally different about in love. And just going back, you know, the question is, can somebody love two people at the same time and the sad thing about that question is with who's really benefiting because if you're the person who is quote unquote loving you giving your love to two different people that doesn't necessarily mean that they're giving you the same love back you know what I'm saying just like again I think that 
that question is geared for somebody who's looking for that one person but unfortunately they can only get it from two different people or three um, different people as far as the sister wife scenario um, I watched that show and if you really watched it they have actually shared the first wife has shared um, some of her jealousy and insecurities because you know they are having sex and they're having kids and you know they keep going on and on but they know they have a certain role so it's kind of like a business more than a a a, a committed loving um, relationship between two people um the first wife she gets all the accolades the second wife does this you know so i i can't compare that so there's a hierarchy at, there yeah i can't compare that with the question about loving two you know two different people that's fair enough big rule you have any uh any other thoughts on being in love with two people? I mean, I'm, I just got a hit on the Facebook page. Miss Tony said that what you just said was very well said, so she's agreeing with you. I mean, I back what I say. You can't be <laughs> in love with two people. It's not possible. <laughs> it's that simple. Colin Banks, would you like to rejoin the conversation? Nope. Okay. Miss <laughs> uh, Miss Dating Pool Diva, let's go on and move on to number two. Well, I wanted to add something to that question. Has anybody in the room ever been in a situation where they felt torn between two people? I know I have. <laughs> you know, I mean, I've been, I've been married a long time, so certainly not since then. But uh, I, when you, when, I, I've actually broken up with a girlfriend to be with a girlfriend. You, so, you see what I'm saying? So you got to make a choice at that point. Who are you trying to be down with? You trying to be down with A, you trying to be down with you know z <laughs> you know what i'm saying so obviously in that case you got to choose a you know it's not an easy thing to do you know you see a lot of times on tv you see the lady you know breaking the guy's heart and you know you see him while out or you see the guy breaking the lady's heart and and and, it, and it's on tv and it's and it seems to be you know one way but in reality you really don't know what you're going to get you know because you don't know how people going to react when it's a matter of the heart particularly if you never seen them in that situation before you know, are the, is this person a crier? And are you someone who doesn't like to see the tears? Uh, is this person a screamer that's liable to crack your forehead? You know, you don't know what you're dealing with. So I know I've been there. It's not a fun situation, but, you know, that's just me. Everybody seems to be quiet today. Am I doing <laughs> all the talking? I mean, you're talking. What are you expecting to do? No, nah, okay. man, you ain't right. Because any other time, you know, any other subject. That's exactly but this is some doing. serious stuff going yeah, on, man. yeah. 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 I can't be in love with nobody else. I'm in love with my wife, so I can't answer the question. Well, well obviously that's the that's a politically correct answer, you know. And you know, hopefully everybody is going to be. Well, I mean, stop. There was a Carlton before he was married. Yeah, well, I mean, yeah, there was, and you know, obviously well, that Carlton, we, that Carlton was in love with everybody. Well, oh, wow. fair enough, but I mean, you know, there's the politically correct answers that you know we should have, but at the end of the day, ain't no half step with Marcus J. You know, Big Ruben and I opened the show by saying, if you're lying. Yeah, must be half stepping. You must be half stepping. So we definitely want to try to make sure that we have step. But you know, it's it's it's, it's certainly not an easy situation when presented with the prospect of having two people that you feel it. Right. You know, whether it be during the time that you're single, or if that situation presents yourself once you've ascended into marriage, because then it presents a whole another you know group of challenges i just i'll just say it like that i mean i can't do it i i for me i'm i'm way i'm way too i i'm way too much of a cancer to, to do that to myself i would kill oh, myself you're a that's cancer. yeah that's that, that's not even that's not even in my makeup i can't even do that no lord no well i mean and, and then, but then the, the other thing is you know you you find a lot of people suppressing you know suppressing themselves <laughs> A, it's too hard to suppress. Well, you, man. a lot of people suppress themselves out of loyalty. You I know, mean, whatever. You know, what, what, whatever. I think, and I may be wrong. I'm playing devil's advocate, but I think that it's easier for men to maybe have that choice of, um, like you said earlier, you dumped one girlfriend to, you know, to be with another um, versus women. And I might be wrong, but I think that. Men, you guys are, are really good in doing that because of the fact that the emotional side may not be as deep for you on one level. Where women, we see a guy can say you're beautiful and maybe court us for two weeks and you're nice to us and, and we will gravitate to you. Well, we will gravitate and want that to where you may like me 
I'm your Monday chick, but you you may have two or three other women the same week saying well, the same thing. I mean, just be re- be honest. Yeah, it's just please. because there are options. I mean, there there are more women on the planet oh, than men, and here if we you go. no, if you get in touch with the wrong dude, that dude has options. That now there are some dudes who have options, and there's other people who don't. The problem is, I would definitely I I, I feel like there are more dudes with options than those without. Uh, we got to hit Miss Tony, who joins us here on Ain't No High Step with Marcus J. Uh, just sent me a text message. She's felt torn, but only because one person had something the other didn't and vice versa. When you find a person who is, quote, unquote, everything you want, that emotional struggle no longer exists. Definitely a very uh, fair point. Let me let me just say let me just say this to kind of address the point um, Toyana just made. I think when men and women get to the point that we stop saying men and women and 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 view each other as individuals i think we'll have a better understanding of each other because you have some men who are emotional i'll be honest with you i may catch some heat for this but i think men are more emotional than women i think men gossip more than women what i think i think men are more emotional than women i think men gossip more than women and and all of these got that right and and all of those Mm. kind of things but 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 you catch some heat on that one but this is yeah now you want to talk be quiet you don't want to talk okay all right mic's off um but seriously i think men are more emotional than women but i also think that what drives men is different than what drives women and I think when men understand what drives women and women understand what drives men, I think we will have a better chance of being able to connect with each other. Men are visual and men are physical. And those are the things that drive us. And we need that to be, you know, kind of watered. You know, whereas, whereas women don't necessarily, uh, are not necessarily driven by those types of things. So we have to figure out a way to reach to reach out, big room. And I'm gonna completely agree with that. I feel like that I mean, how many times have you heard the statement, you know, a man I mean, you feed a man, you know, men like to be fed and and whatever. I mean, I can't remember the exact statement, but it's it's with with most men, really, it's simple things. A lot we don't like all, well, I don't like all this crazy well that's that blah blah I don't need that's not me. I'm simple. Talk to me, feed me, you know. Have sex with me. Yeah, ma- have sex with sex me regularly. You know? mm-hmm. Yeah, Without I mean having a fight. Yeah, <laughs> three three times a week ain't difficult. It don't even have to be a number. Yeah. It just but you know, know it, got, it don't have to be a number. <laughs> it's just you know, but the problem. <laughs> but the problem is here's a problem. Oh, okay, now's a problem. No, it it is a problem okay. because you have all you do have some dudes out there who like for myself, Big Ruby ain't, ain't tiny. For nobody, but you know, no, he's just big sexy, big sexy. Well, thank you. <laughs> but you know, there there are other dudes out there who have two and three girls and whatever, and they're attracted. They have an attraction that women like. But then you have the ordinary dude, such well, not ordinary, but the the regular dude, such as myself. You know, who hey, I just try to live life. You know, I'm not gonna go extravagant, but you know, when I put my time into it, I'm put my time into it, and we're not really respected. And even though it said what you want, that's what you want. That's not what you come out with. But remember, you you started out by saying that men have all these illusional options. Well, let's just break down the map. Wait a minute, they're not illusional. They are. They are not. No, 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 they're far from illusional. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. If you talk about your options, you can. Like my father taught me, every time I make a right or a left, I'm going to see a dude. But that doesn't mean that he's going to have to be one of my options. For you, you may take a left or a right and see five or ten females. And then that might be cool for you. Options to me that you guys think you have, unfortunately, the good girls like me and Miss Charisma over here, you know, you don't really want that. You want the Shay Shays, the Quay Quays, you know, dropping it like a hot. Not saying you, Big Rube, but if you think about it, a guy will go through ten females to go around and get the one, the first one that wasn't right. And we don't understand that as women. And that's why I started as devil advocate that men, you know, you guys have that disconnect of you can pick and choose, like you said, with your options, and there's no emotion involved. Where women, we like you, we want to work with you, and there's a lot of us, big group, that will go for a man like you, that we are looking for that. And just like you said, there's a lot of them that are looking for... Everything and everyone. 
I have a question, Marcus J. Um, you said earlier, you know, we need to stop with the breaking up the men and the women. Be individuals, I understand that. But would you agree that women are usually nesters? We're usually the homebodies like to stay close to the home and, you know, nurture. hold nurture, hold on to things. Where men are usually the hunter and gatherer, they're usually moving and shaking and doing different things. You I, would agree with that? No, I would say that that's I would say that that's a fair generalization. Yes. Okay. So, do you think that that seeps into relationships? Sometimes? I think it does. I think it does. But I think when you assume that a person is going to be a certain way before they present themselves that way, right. you set yourself up to have beef with them. You know right. what I'm saying? When a person shows you who you are, who they are, you need to believe them. You know, because like I give you, I give my, myself as I'm an emotional man. I'm very emotional. You know, not not that I'm saying that I'm going to be weepy. I don't mean emotional necessarily that way, but I'm a talker. You know what I mean? I'm I'm the one that you hear a lot of guy, a lot of ladies that say things like, "He doesn't talk to me." You know, I I noticed something going on with him, but he won't talk. That's not going to ever be a problem any woman has with me, mm -hmm. because I'm a talker. You see what I'm saying? I'm comfortable in that in that in that realm. I'm more likely to talk too much and, and, and say more than I'm supposed to say <laughs> than <laughs> Yeah. Than, I'm you know, with you on that, Jack. Than that. You know what I'm saying? You know, right. like I, you know, so that that's that's just me. And that's the reason why I stand firm when I say that I don't like the generalizations. Because, you know, they're always out. There's always gonna be somebody that's different. Like you know some 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 females who they just don't like to really talk. You know what I mean? And and they are I guess I mean I know you use the phrase alpha female and I, I I wouldn't say I'm not saying this to speak directly to you, but to make my point, you do find some females that are a little bit more I guess you for lack of a better term, they will hold some more generally held men kind of characteristics as to not being wanting to talk, uh always on the go, things like that. So you hold a whole lot of stereotypes Man, you meet somebody that'll bust them all up. You confused, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So that's why I say that. Okay, okay. Are we ready for the next question? Yeah, let's jump in it. Okay, this one is juicy. juicy okay, y'all ready for the juicy? Juicy got him crazy. All right, Carlton, mm -hmm. take, take your shirt off your head now. Uh -huh. Gotta see your face. I'm here. I'm away. We gotta see if your my, face. If cutting off my mic. <laughs> I mean. It, when you contribute to the conversation, I do contribute. You, yeah. you just don't like what I got to say. Nah, yeah, well, yeah, that's true. Go ahead, Charisma. Okay. Can open relationships be productive and long lasting? Well, do I need to define open well, relationships? I think I, I, I think I think y'all know what you mean, but I'm gonna go ahead. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm gonna go ahead and you let define it. Well, I know what an open relationship is. Go ahead and define it. Okay, an open relationship in, in my eyes is when you're willing to allow other people into your relationship and it's consensual between the two basic couple All okay right. so you have the two people and then they're allowing other people into the relationship i.e will and jada's relationship so, okay so their so-called relationship their so-called relationship rumored to be here's, here's the thing with that i'll take this one first um I think that when we stay the hell out of everybody else's business, then we all get along a whole lot better. That's the first thing that I'll say. Me personally, no, nah, I don't think I want to do that. But if I came across somebody who did, I'm not going to judge them and think that there's something wrong with them. That just means that you get down with something that I don't get down with. You know, I, I'm not, you know, if, if we talking doing, and I'm going to just keep it 100, I'm going to keep it 100. If we talking about doing some freaky, nasty stuff, then... We might be having a different, you might be getting a different me. <laughs> you know what I mean? I might have a different opinion. But if we talking about long-term relationships, nah, you, you know, if you if you in a triangle relationship with two other people, nah, I don't see how that could be productive. But if you're just trying to get down, then go ahead and get down. <laughs> you know okay. what I'm saying? And I think, I, I, without really coming right out, I think everybody understands what I'm saying. I don't think it's a relationship, to be honest. If it's open and any and everybody can join in at any time, you're not really in a relationship. So you might as well just break it out and say, it is what it is. You do this for me. I do this for you. So to put the word relationship beside open, I think it's a demise and it's wrong. Oxymoron. Yeah, no, I, I definitely agree with that. Yeah, Big group. I mean, I don't think emotionally I could get down with that. However, I think, I mean, I think it could work, but you got to be special. The two people, you have to be special because ultimately what's going to happen is somebody's going to get their feelings hurt. 
because one person can go a little too far, and somebody get their feelings hurt. The question is, if you if both people can handle it, then that's all now. But I'm with Marcus J. If you, I mean, you know, if you, what's the, what's the word called? What's the word? I don't know why I don't know the word right now. It begins with an S. I know banks know. I have no idea what you Banks at I, yes. I used to know yeah. Swinging oh, Swinging If you swing no, I got to know I'm married <laughs> Yeah Banks Yeah of course you're married But no I'm just saying If you down with that And both of y'all can do that That's good That's on y'all Can I do that I don't know Do I want to find out I haven't really thought about it <laughs> I just uh, I just got hit. Um, April P who joins us on Ain't No Half Step with Marcus J regularly. Uh, her comment on the Facebook wall: uh, Open relationships can be productive and long lasting if the in bold print right people are involved. Yeah. Um, I definitely need you to give me a little bit more on that, April. So if you're still listening, hit your comment and give me a little bit more to, uh, than on what you mean on that. And then Tony is hitting us again. Uh, don't be in a committed relationship if you want to see other people. Yeah, period. I, agree, I think the totally. whole essence, like like Toyana said, Toyana just said, if 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 you put relationship and open together, then it's not really a relationship. I mean, again, I I, I stand firm when I say that we need to stay out of other folks' business. If we come across, you know, a a, a couple of four <laughs> or a couple of three, and that's how they roll and it works for them. Mm-hmm. Then, 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 cool. Who, who are we to judge that? <laughs> but I think we're speaking for us as yeah. individuals. Nah. I mean, I mean, to put it for me, and I am single. If a brother came up to me and said, "Hey, I think I like you a lot, but I think charisma." Would be great with us. I'm gonna say hell no. Well, first of all, you gotta be open to that no, for that to be the first case. First of all, you marry, and so you p- would. I bet if you came to your wife with that, she will pop you upside your head. Well, actually, sh- I, I can't tell you what she said. We, I don't want. I don't want. Don't want well, jar. I'm just assuming. But again, coming and talking as a single woman. First, there's still AIDS. Second. You know, the other responsibilities, the emotional, the financial, or just your self-esteem. I, I have a problem with that. Do not put open and relationship together. It's not going to work. It's not. Charisma, why don't you tell us your thoughts on the subject? Okay, I'm going to play devil's advocate. And I think, you know, there's different components to a relationship. And I guess in the eyes of an open relator, you know, they're committed. The two of them are committed. It may not be monogamous, but there's commitment there, and obviously passion and intimacy and all of that. So, I mean, those are the basic formations of a relationship. From their standpoint, they may see that as a regular relationship because they're committed to it. Yeah, I mean that's on them. Like I said, it's gotta have a. You gotta be. You have to be the right two people, and y'all have to be together, and y'all have to be into it. Me, I don't know. Right now, I'd say no. If it's the right woman, right situation, we don't know. Anonymous uh, just hit us up on the Facebook wall. Uh, anonymous. Could anonymous uh, <laughs> not on the wall to me directly personally? I know who it is, but anonymous. Uh, could the people who have that type of relationship have truly overcome ego? Hmm. They would have to, because because you know when real talk, I don't know if I could if I could imagine my significant other. Having sex with somebody else and then come back and lay in the same bed. That's completely that's a that's a different level that I'm not on at this point in time. I'm not saying I can never be on that, but I'm just saying that right now, hell no. Nah. I can't I'm not cool with that. What if they brought him back yeah, to the bed? Sharing. Once again, but yeah, you gotta be on that level. Yeah. I'm not on that level. I'm not saying I can never crawl up to that level, but I'm just saying right now, in my mind, I ain't on that level. Yeah, I mean I I guess we we're what I'm struggling with is when we say committed relationship. That's that's where I'm struggling. You know what I'm saying? Because I mean, it's one thing if you're doing dirt. That's that's something completely different. But you talking about everybody knows and everybody's together. Well, first of all, everybody's not gonna know. Only some people are gonna know, well, and that's well, the, well, and well, that's well, the whole point about being in everybody's business, right? But you know, you also well, like if say, you when if I you, say everybody, if you do, though, yeah. When I say everybody, I mean every, all four people. I'm talking about whether it be three people, four people. Well, I'm talking yeah. when I say everybody, I mean all them. Yeah, they all know what we're doing. You see what I'm saying? And and, and when anonymous asked the question. 
can you put let's let's say you got two dudes you know and 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 you got two guys who you know if we're going to go with the stereotype of men you know you got two dudes that both feel like they should be the alpha dog and they sharing you know one woman how's that going to fly well see for a a, a true can alpha you, dog male it ain't going down well i don't know and that's the whole thing because when you don't have to worry about things like we worry about such as financial you don't have to worry about that you don't have to worry about you know my wife is going to leave me when you don't have to worry about things like that a different mindset may happen once again i'm now on that level where i can sit here and say you know yeah i'm cool with that but there are other people if i don't have to worry about financial i don't have to worry about my kids i don't have to worry about my wife leaving me i don't have to worry about this that she's gonna be in my bed every night you never know we're gonna take a break you know how to happen with marcus j when we come back we got two more questions that we're going to get to that i'm sure are going to be equally as uh contested as that last one marcus j you know how to happen hang tight with us we'll be back in a minute Hi, this is Jane Trement, and I'm in Orlando, Florida. And I love Ain't No Half Stepping with Marcus J on GlobalScaleRadio.net. Mm-hmm. 